what's up guys i am back with another video um today is kind of different i'm going to be talking about um kind of in relation to festival season is music midtown canceled now you guys know from you know my channel that i've been going to music midtown for the past two years and festival season is basically in a tailspin right now and so i'm going to talk about the current state of georgia music midtown's current um current standing overall festival standings and the possibilities of it being canceled also what can you do to prevent it from being canceled so as of today may 21st music midtown has yet to put out a statement regarding the festival a lot of festival goers are thinking that it could get canceled simply from the fact that really georgia is not in the best state right now and we don't know if we're going to be in the best state come september also, the fact that this will be around the time they'll be announcing the lineup announcement in mid-June. So, basically, it's like, okay, this would be the lineup announcement time. Why aren't they saying anything? Me, part of me, you know, 15% of me, you know, hopes that it can still happen because a lot of stuff is moving. But the 85% is already, like, losing out on hope and is ready for a cancellation announcement at this point because... In the last couple of weeks, we've seen so many festivals get canceled. Um, we The most recent one um, being Burning Man in September. Now, Burning Man has been canceled. Buku, that moved to um, Labor Day weekend, it got canceled. And so far, Atlanta-wise, the most recent um, convention to be canceled was Culture Con. And that was in August. So when you're seeing August stuff get canceled you might gonna see September stuff be canceled. Now, during this whole thing, Music Midtown has yet to put out a statement. Nothing on the website, nothing on Instagram or Twitter, just complete silence. Now, I know they're looking at stuff behind the scenes, but, you know, it's cutting to those crunch time hours where that crunch time dates to where people are gonna expect certain things to happen at this time. And a lot of people are feeling like it's going to get canceled. Now, with um i try to find something to compare it to i compared it to um bonnaroo now bonnaroo was supposed to happen next month but they moved it to the end of september the week after music midtown so i went on their website um basically they're keeping the original lineup i looked at tennessee's department of health they're actually keeping track of recoveries unlike georgia and out of the eighteen thousand cases infected over eleven thousand have recovered that's over 64 percent that is amazing. That's great. They're on their way there. And with Georgia, we're still gaining cases. With the current state right now, I don't know what the F we're doing. And so, man, I completely lost my chain of thoughts. So basically, with Music Midtown, um, I'm going off of um, Reddit, basically. From what I, I've gotten from like research on Reddit, basically kept opening up the state too early has a lot of us losing out on hope and we know that behind the scenes they're basically trying to figure out okay what can we do they can't postpone it to a later date because october is already booked as is with festivals moving to the fall to the biggest one being edc las vegas and then coachella both weekends so those are occupied so now um basically two weeks ago the city council of atlanta basically put a ban on permits there's no telling if they're gonna have that carry on to the fall but as for summer they're not carrying out permits now basically they're saying you know drag con can still happen indoors at hotels but they're not going to do the parade so basically the city's just basically like we're trying to keep people safe um the jazz festival went virtual they usually have it at piedmont park so i think people are still looking at it as like Okay, we gotta look at it. Could we go indoor? Could we cut down attendance? Could we put more safety health precautions? That's a lot of discussions they're probably having behind the scenes. Now, a lot of artists have already canceled their tours and postponed for the, until probably next year. So it's gonna be hard to have any kind of lineup they may have already had before the COVID shutdown started. Now, could they still have the festival? In like a little theory box, possibly if they do certain things, kind of cut down on a lot, 
Um, one of them being attendance. I know over 55,000 people came last year. They might have to cut down ticket sales from 55,000 to about 35,000 or probably just cut it in half. Also, the same thing with vendors. You know, we have a whole uh, vendor walk when it comes to like getting food as well as the bars. So they might have to cut that down and like in that different spacing. So they might have to cut down on that number. The same thing for sponsors. You can still have them, but they're going to have to be in an indoor setting. I know last year, Paint, Pantene and Mountain Dew were one of the few that had their own like built in, like they built in their own like little indoor thing in like an igloo style, like like interactive sponsor, you know, viewing. Um, go to my Music Midtown video from last year so you can check that out as a reference. Um, also, they might have to cut down on pricing because right now everyone is, half of everybody's out of the job right now. We're at like, like probably close to, a little over 5% of the population has filed for unemployment. So, as of right now, um, the ticket prices are still at 125 Usually, the price goes up in June, and we get a notification. We usually get the email saying, hey, the price is about to jump. Get your tickets now. So, you've basically... It, it's annoying that they stayed silent this whole time. Now, another festival that I know is in the city that is after the week before Music Midtown is One Music Fest. They have been very... Um, They've been very um, communicative with people online, basically saying, hey, we're still going to have it. We're currently doing stuff behind the scenes. And there's this kind of smaller compared to Music Midtown. They have their Centennial Park. You know, it's around the same date. Um, basically, it's smaller scale, so it could be possible they can still do it. They might do it indoor. I don't know. Now, from my business opinion, when I started, like, because right now this week, um, Tanache's tour got canceled, so I'm still waiting on that refund. Then Culture Gone got canceled the next day. So I'm expecting for Music Midtown to be canceled for the simple fact that Georgia is not in a state and probably won't be in a, in a good state to even have an event like this, even if they do move it to indoor. Also, I don't know um, if the city is going to even allow any festival events come the fall I know Atlanta um, needs the income because we've already lost out on so much income in the last two months for the city. And so they're putting everyone's health as a priority. I'm moving my penny bank, guys. They're putting everyone's health as a priority, which I fully understand. But Music Midtown needs to put out a statement by the end of the month because at this point, you really cannot just stay silent. I know you have several partnerships and sponsors are probably not going to want to sponsor the festival if it's still bad out there come fall. So let's hope and pray they make a statement by the end of the month. That's my little video on this whole thing. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel. If you still want to go to Music Midtown or you're hoping it, it still happens or you're thinking it's getting canceled or there are other festivals or events that were canceled or postponed that you want me to talk about in the comments, let me know down below. Girl, peace out. More love. Have a great week. Bye.